Hello, this is Tom from Never Center. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the cool new features that we've got in Camerabag 2021.1. Um, and the main highlight feature of this release is a new lens flare adjustment in this uh, photographic section. This is both in Camerabag Pro and in Camerabag Photo. When I click on this, uh, you can see it throws up a lens flare right away, and I can um, when I have the adjustment selected, then you'll see this blue handle that you can grab so that you can pull out the uh, flare to uh, whichever direction you want. And um, <clears throat> one of the things about lens flares is that they always pass through the center of the image, and there's a, a string of um, reflected elements here. So we just have this one handle that you use, and then it will always pass through the center. But if you line it up something like this photo, which by the way is from uh, Unsplash from Linus Nyland, um, when you drag it, it, you can line it up with something like a, a sun or some other bright light that might be the source that's causing this flare. And so um, this is a randomizable effect, so actually each time you load it, it will load differently. Um, so you can see how this one looks different from the one I just had. And what it's just doing is it's automatically using this remix slider and if I just slide this you can see how many um, different options it goes through and this slider goes basically to infinity so you can um, you can also just click to the left or right of this and it will just uh, go to those discrete values once you find one that you like um, then of course you can adjust it and save it to your favorites so let's just uh, see if I can find one of these that I particularly like this one's kind of cool. It's got lots of elements in it. Um, and you can, of course, adjust the amount so that it's very subtle or larger. And with these randomizations, like they'll have different number of elements. Uh, they'll either be this seven-sided aperture shape or a circular shape. You can also see when I drag these, it's very realistic that the shapes change as they get dragged out. Like if you see this element right here, its shape will slowly change as I drag it out. Um, let's see if there's another one that I can show this on. Here, this one looks like you'll be able to see the elements changing shape. It's very realistic, and uh, we think it's it's pretty cool. Um, and so, uh, like I say, if I just line this one up with the sun or a little bit past it, then that can be cool. Um, another thing about this remix value, let me find another one of these where they're mostly the same color. So, um, in the the non-integer portion of this number, so this is negative 3721.02. If I change the values after the decimal, that will actually just change the hue of the lens flare. So 0 0.34, 0 0.54, and see around 0 0.6 or 0 0.7, it starts to be orange and then continues up to um, purple. And sometimes these, these won't give you perfectly you know, uh, consistent results because there's some randomization. And so um, then this one, if I do change it to 0.7, you can see it's, it's picking up. Um, it's basically happens to be some of the same colors that are in this the rest of this image. So that can kind of be a nice look. Um, so like I say, you can hit the plus button and save that, and it will just save it as one of your favorites. And then you can always pull up that same lens flare and use it again and change its coloring or whatnot uh, to go with your photo. Now, another thing that we've included in this is a whole set of lens flares um, and sometimes combined with other effects that we're calling summer flares because these tend to make photos look very summery. Um, and if I click on these, so these are, um, because of the positioning of uh, each of these things, these might look different from one photo to the, to the next. So like, for example, this one has a light leak in addition to the lens flare. So here's the lens flare. If I move it around, you can see that. Um, can line it up like this. Then this one also has a light leak, which is doing that sort of pink kind of glowy haze over it. And this one has a spot mask. Um, which will modulate that light leak. So if I reduce the radius of this spot mask, you can see it's a circular mask. Let me zoom in on this a little bit. Um, 
And so like the cool thing you can do with this is I can line this up as if it were another element of the lens flare, but it's a, a gigantic one. And then I could like reduce the sharpness and maybe remix the light leak to find it so that it went to sort of a uh, coloring and a position that I really like. Um, something like, uh, I like kind of this purple over it. Um, anyway, that's uh, one of them. So let me just go through some of these. So it's just kind of a cool, it's just the flare. Um, three, this one's got light leak with it. Um, let me see if there's other ones that are worth mentioning. This one's just got several adjustments to make some photos look kind of cool with this particular flare. Um, what is this? This is six, go through seven, eight. Anyway, there's some really cool ones. Often lens flares actually look particularly cool with sort of a low exposure. So, um, this uh, preset, all it's doing is turning down the exposure and then applying this particular lens flare over it. And this is a very colorful lens flare. So that, you know, it's kind of an extreme effect, but it can be pretty cool looking. Um, and like I say, you can always just, you know, turn down the amount of the flare if you feel like it's too loud or turn it up if you want to get something really stylized. Um, and that's it for the, uh, the major features of this version. Um, one small, thing that we've also changed um, is that with things like that spot mask um, that I was using on, I go back to this preset, the spot mask for this light leak, before you couldn't pull these off image and now you can pull it anywhere off the image. And that goes for the same with like um, vignettes uh, right here. So before you're you'd be stuck, you couldn't bolt beyond the corners, and now if you want to, you can pull it all the way down here or whatever. And since this is an absolute pixel position, like I say, if you save these as a preset, um, as you'll find with these flares, the, it won't always have the same angle or the same position because different photos are different resolutions. But we think it's pretty neat, um, and we're excited to see what flares people discover. Like I say, there's an infinite number of these, so there's lots of hidden ones that we've just never seen before. And uh, as you just go through and, and remix them, you'll run across some unexpected cool ones and you never know. It's a, a bit of a lottery and it's kind of fun and, um, just because you never know what's going to pop up. And anyway, we hope you enjoy it and uh, we hope you enjoy camera. Thanks.